these kids believe in each other. You know, I'll never forget after the first game when we beat Pittsburgh, I was talking to Malcolm Armstead in the locker room. And I said, hey, man, we need to keep this going. I'd love to go to L.A. for a week. And he looked at me and he said, L.A., we're trying to go to Atlanta. And I looked at him. I was like, man, don't happen very often when a player motivates, you know, me. But I told him since that, you know, I felt like when he made that statement that we had a chance to make a run because, you know, they weren't satisfied and they had their eye on the bigger prize. Kansas is a basketball state, and, and uh, while we all love other sports, basketball is, is king. Wichita State has always played uh, a pretty solid brand of basketball, uh, make, you know, going back to the 1960s when we did make a Final Four run. The excitement around Wichita State basketball uh, here uh, in the city has, has always been high, and any time we play a team that the, the locals know, uh, we pretty much sell out. Wichita has just a, such a great following and love of basketball. It doesn't matter how good or bad we are, we're going to fill that stadium and we're going to go root our team on every year. It just so happens that we were packed again this year and we just happen to be a little better. We were concerned of, with, with nine new faces. We actually had uh, nine guys that had never played a second for Wichita State. and The other six players, some of them had played very limited minutes. When you have that many new faces, plus they're coming from that many different varied backgrounds, transfers, JC kids, high school kids, red shirts, it is a challenge. The team is made up of a lot of people that's been through a lot of things. You know, um, a lot of people go straight out of high school to a Division I school. And, you know, going to junior college, you know, you have to grind a little bit harder. You know, after things and situations is a little bit tougher. So, I mean, it shows a lot about our character and, you know, it's paying off for us now. Basketball is not thermonuclear physics. It's, um, it's a lot of uh, just being tough, uh, being a good teammate, and it, it, you know, they, they've wanted to be good. I feel like we were a sleeper in the tournament. Like people didn't, didn't think that we could get this far, but you know, they knew we had talent and stuff like that. So we definitely snuck up on people. When you hear KU, K-State, and Wichita State all made the tournament, everyone knows that KU is going to go the farthest. You know, uh, K-State might win a couple, WSU might pull off one win against Pittsburgh, but uh, then they ran up against this little team named Gonzaga and knocked the number one team in the nation down. That was unbelievable, and I think that just gave them all the confidence in the world. It was exciting, but this last game when they played Ohio State, I about had a heart attack. I about tore the arms off my chair. I'd jump up, run around, sit back down, get calmed down. I ain't kidding you. When, I, when that game was over, I felt like I'd played a game of basketball. <laughs> it's, it's exciting. Uh, it's fun for the city. Uh, people are learning how to spell Wichita. Doors are opening for us, and people are going to find out. You know, one person even came up to, us, to me there and said, what is a shocker? You know, what is a shocker? I don't understand that. A shocker is a big bundle of angry wheat. I mean, I think we've got the weirdest mascot ever. I mean, who is scared of a bunch of wheat? This is the wheat capital of the world, and back before combines were invented, people used to cut the wheat by hand and tie them up in bundles, which was called a shock. Not everybody can be a wheat shocker, you know. Uh, only the strong survive being a wheat shocker. You get a big old guy of wheat running around in the field, he's going to scare some kids. Uh, and uh, that's, that's what it means to us, you know, he's, he's unique, he's scary, and he's here to party. We're at the dance, baby. We pride ourselves basically in our names and we're the shockers and we're just trying to shock the nation. This is the end of the road for us, it's a must win, so we just try to take advantage and just, just give it all. And if we fail giving it all, then we'll live with it, you know. I think this program nationally is known for its fan base, it's known for its arena, it's known for Shaka Nation. No one deserves this more than our fans. It feels good to be able to provide them with this excitement because a lot of these people have been waiting a long time for another run like this. We're not satisfied. We'll never be satisfied. 
80 more minutes of good basketball uh, with us on the high end, we're satisfied. But short of that, no. We're going in there for all the marbles, and uh, that's the nature of the school, that's the nature of the state, uh, and I don't see that as any different. And if we're back next year, we'll be doing exactly the same thing. You have to believe that you can do it. You have to believe that you belong in the tournament. You have to believe that you're as good as the next guy, and if you compete and play well, then you can, you can win. I can, I can taste the national championship. I'm sure all my teammates can taste it too. We're that close, so you know what I'm saying? You don't want to go to war with the Shockers. Don't start no stuff, no be no stuff. <laughs>